So we're talking about healthy shoulder mechanics. And the first point to reference is our elbow. A healthy shoulder in neutral is where the elbow crease is rotated forward. If it's rotated in, that rotates the shoulder joint inward. The second rule of shoulder mechanics is to have a neutral spine so that the shoulder blades can rest in their neutral place on our rib cage. And so we can reference that really easily by saying that the back of the head should meet this bar the middle of the rib cage and the tailbone. So after we've established neutral spine and we've established the elbow X is rotated forward, we want to establish the neutral happy place of the shoulder blades on the rib cage, which are actually wide and flush at rest. So our shoulder blades are able to rise up in a shrug. They can come down into depression. They can go forward into protraction, and they can slide way back into retraction. We want to find that neutral happy place of all of those four planes on a neutral spine. So we want them to be wide and flush, and in the middle of elevation and depression, protraction, retraction, there. And then when we go to do overhead motion, the shoulder blades travel on the rib cage in this wide upward rotation. When we come down and we want to do a push-up, they stay wide, and as our elbows hinge, they don't travel towards each other until the very end of a push-up when we go really deep. 